How's it going? Oh, my mic's spun round and everything. So I'm back. I'm, uh... I keep looking at the wrong camera. Maybe this one. Ah, oh, as you can tell, I'm pretty, pretty out of practice in this full YouTube gig. So I'm back. Where did I go? I didn't, I didn't, technically I didn't actually go anywhere. So, uh, for those of you who don't know where Stejo has been, why has he stopped uploading videos, I, uh, I couldn't. I received 19 copyright strikes, which have all now been resolved, which is why I can now upload again. But yeah, the, uh, yeah, 19 copyright strikes. Mark that as a high score. So, uh, yeah, about, god, when was it, about nine weeks ago? I've got the dates here, I'll get them. So yeah, I got the, um, I got the strikes, I think it was the, the end of April. Um, and I submitted the counter notification on the 3rd of May. Um, unfortunately, the, the strange thing about it is, sorry, I'm, I'm reading off my emails right here. Um, the strange thing about it is when I submit a counter notification, you get an email back from YouTube. I actually never got an email telling me that I had any strikes on my channel, which at the time I was doing a lot of other stuff. So I wasn't even on my channel to notice that I had the strikes. It wasn't until a couple of days after I got the strikes that I went on my channel and seen them, um, which was weird enough to begin with. Then when I went on my channel to have a look at it, it says that the strikes had came from a deleted account. So normally when you go onto your onto your strikes, it's like, you got this from uh, bloody Sony Entertainment, what they what they called? Uh, Sony Computer Entertainment Limited, I think was the one when I had uh, the God of War strike. Um, so it normally tells you like who's uh, who sent the strike, um, the email address so that you can contact them and try to resolve it like out with the DMCA and like, there's a load of, load of different details it normally gives you but for this account it said account deleted then I submitted my uh, my counter notification to YouTube and then it normally says the following videos were taken down by and then gives the claimant's name whereas this it says the following videos were taken down by FKVH K A nine A X T whatever. Um obviously you guys will be able to read all have it up here. Um so yeah, that was like the that was the first fuckery that was afoot when it came to these nineteen copyright strikes. Um deleted account. I never got any emails to say that I got copyright strikes at all. Um interestingly enough, the drama channels knew about these strikes before I even did. And the account was like a, a random string of, of numbers, uh, a random string of numbers and letters. So I had no idea where these came from, who to contact, or anything like that, because it was literally that the information I had was deleted account and FKVHKA9AX, whatever. So I submitted my, um, my current notification as I do, in the regular way that I normally do them. And I thought, right, okay, normally it takes YouTube, I'd say, sometimes you can get the counter no notification forwarded on the same day, um, sometimes it takes a couple of days, I thought with the sheer number of videos, I think it was like 90 something videos, uh, the sheer number of videos that was striked down, then that would have took like a couple of days, so I was like, right, okay, whatever, I'll take a couple of days, sure thing. Um, oh, just in case you were wondering why it was like, what what does what was it? Nineteen strikes. Um, why it was nineteen strikes is because the way that YouTube works when you're submitting massive amounts of strikes is that it gets sorted into blocks of five strikes. So every uh, blocks of five videos. So every strike is five videos. So got ahead with these nineteen strikes. And I was like, right, whatever. I'll counter it two weeks, and the strikes will come off, and I'll just get back to what whatever the fuck I was doing. Um, I was definitely not happy at the time. I mean, this was this is like ten weeks ago now or something like that. I've definitely moved on from it. Um, but yeah, I was like, what a load of bullshit. You know, it wasn't. There was no legitimate email attached to it. There was no legitimate name attached to it. There was no like, nothing at all. Um, except this FKVH 
K A nine A X T whatever. Um, I done a load of like investigation with a load of people from my Discord to see like, is it like a hashed string? Um, was it is it like an encrypted string? Maybe there was something that got passed through wrong. So I don't know if maybe it was a YouTube encrypted string that, um, instead of sending us the decoded string for who it was because it was a deleted account that it showed on their system, it just gave us like the actual string. I don't I don't know. It's just uh, to me it was strange. Anyway, what furthered the strangeness is that. Uh, these strikes never uh, the the strikes account notification never actually got forwarded to the claimant, um. But I tried to I tried to obviously email uh YouTube to try and get it sorted, but during the COVID pandemic, um, YouTube actually had less people working on like the live chat and stuff like that, so it was a lot harder to get in contact with someone. Um, we emailed Susie's partner manager to look into it, but partner managers are like with with things like. DMCA's and stuff like that. They they can't really do anything. Um. So basically, I was emailing him so that he could forward it on and like escalate it. But generally, what we find is that you're better off just emailing the copyright team <laughs> direct. You get a lot better. Uh, you get a lot better results with that. But yeah, with like, ended up in a back and forth with the copyright team for weeks. You know, and the thing about the copyright team is you email them and then it takes them like four or five days to get back to you. And they get back to you and you email them, then it takes them four or five days to get back to you. So I think it was seven seven or eight weeks before it finally got forwarded on. And I've got no idea who they forwarded it on to because they don't they don't tell you anything, apparently. Um so yeah, I forwarded it I forwarded it on. Or they forwarded it on. And then it was just a matter of waiting the the two weeks or the 14 working days, which was over the 4th of July, which added extra time because it's the 14 working days, uh, 10 to 14 working days American. So, you know, I don't, I've got no idea. Apparently the 4th of July is like a full weekend thing that they celebrate. So there's like bank holidays and stuff. So that added extra time onto it. Um, So, but even after that, I think it was about 16 to 17 working days after that. The strike still hadn't come off, so I had to reach out to YouTube again and be like, listen, you need to get my strikes off, and that took an extra two days. And it's like, so all of this fuckery has led to me not being able to upload on my channel for like 10 weeks or something. Like, I, I lost count. Uh, fortunately, I've been doing some other stuff. Um, some stuff that you guys will probably see in the near future, once it's all polished. Um... But the other stuff that I've been doing has been, uh, it's been good. It's been, yeah. I sorry, I'm trying. I'm trying to make sure I don't say much. So yeah, I've been working on some other stuff in the meantime. Um, I was actually working on this. Uh, we've been working on this since September, and it is exciting, very exciting, and it's already earning way more than it's costing which is awesome and hopefully you guys will be able to see once we start expanding the business um i'll be able to talk about it on the channel but right now it's sort of kind of like uh it's kind of in trade secret territory where there's nothing like there's nothing to protect the ip of what we're doing until it's like it, it, god man it's in trade secret territory just now so until it's established the only way to protect it is by being established and until it's established you don't want to talk about it because then someone else can snipe you if that makes sense so as for right now i can't talk about it but soon <laughs> as soon as it's fleshed out and things start to go ahead i'll be able to talk about it but i'm super happy with where it's going and um, we've actually got a great team working with us just now uh so i'm super excited and i can't wait to tell you guys but the one problem with that is i've got less time for youtube um, so don't expect me to be going back to eight videos a day. Um, the way that I'm trying to work right now is I'm going to be working on my YouTube one day and then the next day I'm going to be working on my own stuff. I don't know how much of that I'm going to be able to stick to, but hopefully it should end up with 
you guys not even noticing anything, but it definitely won't be eight videos a day. It definitely won't be anywhere near that. Um, I'm thinking about changing about the way that I do some of the content. So it'll be longer videos. We're going to try for a little bit to see how it works. Um, as for like, you guys don't care about any of the inside baseball crap, man. I don't like, I always, I always go on about this sort of stuff and I'm like, I wonder if anyone actually cares. Probably not. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to, Factorio is definitely coming back. I've been promising it for ages. That's the first thing. That's the first thing that's going to get recorded. Um, Factorio is coming back. I need to finish that bloody C blocks. It's bugging the life out of me. It needs to come back. That's a definite. Um, then we're going to be doing some. God, I forgot the bloody name of it. Satisfactory. Satisfactory is the other thing. Factorio is coming back. Satisfactory is coming. The third thing, I don't know. But there's going to be three things. There's going to be three things. I'm going to try and get an episode of each a day. But we'll see. Because if I'm doing longer videos, I'm not sure if I'll have the time. But I'll try. Um, the reactions will be coming back on the reaction channel. Um, I'm just thinking about the time. I don't think I'll be able to do three episodes a day on the main channel if they're going to be longer episodes. But we'll have to see about that. I don't want to overpromise and under deliver. I hate doing that, and I know I've been doing that for like the last year while I've been working on other stuff in the background, and it sucks and I hate it. But we will, we'll try to get back to a sense of normality. Really, uh, reactions still going on the reaction channel. As I says, I wanted to move away from the main channel with the reactions, um, not because of ninety four videos coming down for copyright strikes from an unknown claimant um but actually because i wanted a more cohesive channel and i feel like having reactions and indie games and i'm even thinking about branching the triple a stuff off of this channel but if i done that this channel will probably be maybe like one episode a day and then and it's hard with indie games but i just like playing games man there's so many games to play um but yeah, I'm still, like, everything's still up in the air. So I'm going to try, as usual, I, I spread myself too thin and I put so much work on my plate that it's just, like, a ridiculous amount. But yeah, we're going to get back to, go get back to some Factorio. I cannot wait. Factorio, I definitely want to do Satisfactory, maybe with some mods or something. Um, because I've seen some mods that look cool. I'm also, I have no idea what any of the updates for Factorio or Satisfactory have been in the past, maybe like a year or something, I don't know. It feels like it's been so long since I've played any of them. So, yeah. Reactions on the second channel. Factorio over here. Satisfactory and maybe a third game. Or maybe that third game will be on a different channel. But we'll see about that, won't we? Um, and then, like I say, every other day I'll be working on my other projects behind the scenes so that hopefully we can get that going. Um, luckily, we've got some good people working with us that I can afford to do one than the other. And we're at the stage right now where I can afford to do that. But I'm also renovating the house. So once again, piling all of this crap on top of already, you know, being super busy. But I'm going to be trying. I'm going to be trying. Just wanted to let you guys know why I've not been uploading to the channel. It is not by choice. It is by um, an extremely, extremely fucky DMCA takedown notice. Or multiple DMCA takedown notices. That, uh, yeah, I wasn't very happy with. And unfortunately, the YouTube copyright team got the ire of that quite, quite extremely um, yeah, mm. the thing is, and here's, let's don the lawyer hat just now, the problem with the DMCA, and there's been some, there's been some suggestions sent to Congress, I think, I'm not very good with the, the US political system, there was some suggestions sent in about how to change the DMCA in a way to make it better, and the things that are broken with it, the DMCA is an inherently crappy system, that was not built for what we're dealing with nowadays. But the problem is that in order to maintain safe harbour, YouTube basically has to take any DMCA takedown notice and treat it seriously. So 
that leaves it open to an awful lot of abuse. And as you can see, you can get your channel shut down for like 10 weeks by a bad actor, in my opinion. Which, uh, which sucks. It definitely, uh, it's definitely a pain in the ass. Like, I'm just lucky that YouTube's not my main source of income at the moment, because otherwise that would suck really bad. <laughs> but nah, we're good. Um, yeah, it's just, I've got many issues with DMCA, and I'll probably talk about it eventually. I feel like it's a uh, shoot first, ask questions later, and at the end of the day, it's very ineffectual because basically if someone's legitimately just like re-uploading your content, you can hit them with a DMCA and unless you're willing to take them to court, then they can just counter it and you're no further forward. They get to keep your content and monetize it and it's very, very shit. Adding on top of that, that there's like the vast majority of the internet are copyright experts and they all think they understand the DMCA when they've actually got no fucking clue. They've only just Googled it. But I mean... I suppose that's all a conversation for another time, isn't it? Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to fill you guys in, and I know this has been a bit rambly, but thank you for listening to my shit once again. But do let me know in the comment section below if you guys are interested in the longer form content, or if you think that 20 minute episodes are the way to go. I have no idea anymore. It's all just trial and error A-B testing, seeing what sticks and what doesn't. I mean, I suppose that is life, isn't it? But uh, yeah, I think we're gonna gonna try and get back to a sense of normalcy. Normalcy. Can't even speak. I think we're gonna try and get back to a sense of normality on the channel, and we'll just go from there. But as always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been Steejo. You've been awesome. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.